Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Biomed at Prachi. Till date, we have seen many topics related to biomedical equipments, medical technologies and about medical implants. But today, I am going to talk about a specialized branch under biomedical engineering. So, our today's topic is tissue engineering. From last 3 to 4 decades, this field has achieved a lot succession in research area of medical field. So, before starting this interesting topic, Please subscribe to this channel so that you will get every notification for every new topic. So friends, basically tissue engineering is a scientific field that concerned with a development of biological substitutes capable of replacing diseased or damaged tissue in humans. Tissue engineering involves different types of components which are stem cell, scaffold and environment and factors that restore, maintain and induce growth of tissue. One by one, I will explain every step of tissue engineering with its basic components. So, very first step is selection of stem cell. Cell is very basic unit of body that divides and grows in tissue, organs and whole body. There are different types of cells for different functions in body. We can say specialized functions. But the stem cell is the cell which can divide into different types of cell and can make different tissues and organs. Stem cell have unique properties and that are they can divide over and over again to produce new cells. Second is they can have potential to develop into many different types of cells in the body. So they can replace and restore damaged tissue. As they divide they can change into the other type of cell that make up the body. So, by grabbing these properties of stem cells, embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells are used as primary instruments in procedure of tissue engineering. Now, next component of tissue, tissue engineering is scaffold used in procedure. Scaffolds for tissue engineering are support structures designed to facilitate cellular growth and proliferation upon implantation into the patient. There are different types of tissues in body are connective tissue, epithelial tissues, muscular tissues and nervous tissues. For different types of tissues, different types of scaffolds are used in tissue engineering and are classified in fibrous, porous, hydrogel, microspheres, bioceramic composites and acellular type. The stem cell is also called as seed cell and is a starting point of process. Then scaffold holds and supports the seed and steer its growth into desired shape, size and location. Among scaffold materials like polymer, ceramics, metals and composite, each has specific resorption, surface reactivity and biocompatibility properties. Successful implantation requires compatibility of scaffold with the host immunity and functionally integrates with the body. Some biomaterials are extensively applied on large range of medical applications and characterized by good biocompatibility are PLA, polyglycolic acid that is PGA and polydioxenon. This application of biomaterials improves the biocompatibility of surface in contact with living tissue which then influence cell adhesion and growth on it. The next most important component is stem cell culture. For proper growth of cell, the basic requirement of cell must be maintained in culture, which include oxygen, pH, humidity, temperature, nutrients and osmotic pressure maintenance. The physiological environment is also needed to promote cell or tissue growth, which include pressure, temperature, CO2 concentration and it can also extend to biological, chemical or mechanical stimuli. In such medium containing growth factors, seeded scaffolds are then incubated, which stimulates the cell to grow and divides. As cell spreads across the scaffold, the substitute tissue is formed. This tissue can be implanted into the human body. After that, scaffolds eventually get absorbed or either gets dissolved. In case of skin, cartilage, heart and bone, Tissue culture is getting much useful and famous among health practitioners. The goal of tissue engineering is to restore end organ function either by native tissue rehabilitation or by development of functional reproducible tissue substitutes with which resembles native tissue biologically and mechanically. 
In short, tissue engineering combines the principle of cell biology, material science and engineering to devise the therapeutic strategies in various acquired and congenital diseases. So thank you so much for watching till the end. Please like and share the video. Next time we will learn something new. Till that, keep learning, do your best. Bye bye.